Hello everyone and welcome! This is it, this is the beginning of an adventure, it's Pokemon Soul Silver Part 1. You guys requested it and I'm doing it. Um, I call this a walkthrough because I have quite a lot of knowledge on Silver or Soul Silver, I've played it a lot. Uh, before we play it though, um, I do have this cool layout going on. At the top it shows my current gym badges, which I don't have any right now, so I put some little red X's on the faces. Uh, in the bottom right I'm playing a little game, who's that Pokemon? If you want to, have a little guess as to what the Pokemon is in the comments section, and in the next video I'll announce what the Pokemon is and finally we have the two little screens because it's it's a Nintendo DS game we have the larger screen on the left which is a bit more important really and the smaller screen on the right which will show my items and my attacks and stuff um, also one bit of advice you can always enlarge the video by clicking the arrows underneath that'll make it bigger so it's easier to see and it's more visually pleasing really but anyway guys this is it let's let's play Pokemon Soul Silver. I'll first tell you important things about the game, please touch any topic you'd like to know about. I will not be needing any info, thank you very much game. Dot dot dot, yawn, is it a Snorlax? A guest at this hour? No, it's Professor Oak. Sorry to keep you waiting, welcome to the world of Pokemon, I am Professor Oak. Everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor, but before we go further, there's a few things I want to tell you. This world is inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. And that's a Meryl, looks like I remembered. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends, at times we play together, at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon for bondage, wait what? Well, just closer bonds with them. Now why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself, are you a boy or are you a girl? For this uh, walkthrough I will be a boy, because I'm a boy in real life. Now please tell me your name, I sure hope it fits, because it didn't fit on my fire red walkthrough. No, this isn't going to fit again, it only gives me seven characters, so I'll just call myself Yami again. Your name is Yami? Yes, it is. Yami, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Difficult experiences, dreams, adventure, blah, blah, blah. And now I'll be shrunk to the size of a peanut. And here we are, this is Pokemon Soul Silver. The graphics sure are much better in this game compared to Pokemon Fire Red. The PC is actually a laptop, wow technology sure has improved, I'm not going to click it though because there's no potions in it so there's no point. Oh look it's my mom. Hi Yami, you're finally awake, your friend Lyra was just here, she was playing hide and seek with her marrow, well, she's not just my friend mom if you know what I'm saying, she's a bit more than that. You know where the lab is, it's right next to us, yes I didn't need to know that because this town is like four buildings big. And now she's going to give me a lot of shit, uh, it's quite useful being able to um have a bag and some options and stuff. I can always increase the tech speed and stuff if I want to, but I'll do that off screen. Oh no, is it some Marrow? It's the Pokemon from the beginning. And that's Lyra. She'll play a big part in this game. Okay. Didn't even say anything to me. What a bitch. Look at this creep just looking through the window, what a weirdo. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon lip. <laughs> what are you staring at? I could say the same to you, you rude bastard. Alright, let's go in the lab. I feel a bit uncomfortable though, uh, though <laughs> that there's a guy staring through the window, but what can you do? Hi Yummy, I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs, but before it was invented, people used to just walk with them. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking has its advantages. It has something to do with how they grow and evolve. Okay. He goes off on one now, he's going to talk for a while. <laughs> oh, I think he got an email. Hey, I got an email. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. That's a great name. He keeps finding weird things and discoveries. Um, it's probably another Pokemon egg. Probably a Togepi. You can go in our place right, we'll count on you. You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Oh, here we go. We get to choose our starting Pokemon finally. Okay then. So there are three Pokemon to choose from, just like in the uh, first game. 
We have Totodile. Totodile is like the middleman. He's it's like if there was a difficulty setting on this game, like easy, medium, and hard, Totodile would be the medium Pokemon to start with because he's he's got a pretty decent attack and a slightly decent defense, and he doesn't really struggle against the gyms. Uh, he evolves at level uh, 18 to a Croconaw, level 30 to a Feraligatr. He's a pretty cool Pokemon. A lot of people choose him, but there are there are a lot of de decent <laughs> water Pokemon in the game. Uh, Cyndaquil is epic really, he's just absolutely epic, he has a really high special attack, he evolves at level 14 to a Quilava and then a Typhlosion at 36, and he's really awesome against the majority of the gyms, like he doesn't have a problem against most of them. And finally, Chikorita, if you want a challenge, go for Chikorita, uh, she evolves to a Bayleaf at 16 and a Meganium at 32, doesn't really have a high attack, but has it's like a tank really, she has really good defense, can take a lot of hits, and she has some really good uh, status moves later on. But anyway, for this walkthrough, we will go for Cyndaquil, he's my favorite, and uh, like I said, he's the easiest one, but I, I just like to choose the fire Pokemon really. Give a nickname to the Cyndaquil? No, I, I can't really think of anything right now, but later on if we find a name deleter or a name editor, we'll do that. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Okay. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. I'm counting on you. Alright. Oh dear, what does he want? I want you to have these. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. So it's really nice how people just give me free stuff all the time. It's great. It'd be great if this was like real life. I could just go out my house and just get given free shit. Oh look, it's uh I've already forgotten her name. Oh dearie me. Lyra. Yummy! So you picked a Cyndaquil, that's a cute Pokemon. Uh, when you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Why don't you show it to your mom? Oh yes, I have to go back to see my mom. She gives me, um, I think it's called the Poker Gear. Allows me to make phone calls and stuff, which is supposedly really important. Um, I probably won't make any many phone calls anyway. Oh yummy, that's a cute Pokemon. That's what Lyra just said to me. I guess that's what all females think. What kind of task? It's a little difficult. Okay. Your poker gear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Thank you, Mom. She she literally gave me everything, really. Something cool is what every trainer should have. You can use the poker gear to make a phone call. Yes, I do. I don't want a tutorial. Just power on the poker gear and touch the telephone button. Well, you tell me anyway. It's not like I needed to know. It is very easy. Technology sure has advanced these days, hasn't it, Mom? All right, goodbye. I'll see you in like three years or whatever. I'm just gonna leave. All right, it's time to finally start battling. God damn it! Wait one second. What is it now, Professor Elm? I was about to just go off on one. I almost completely forgot. Here, I'll give you my number. Oh, thank you. It's a bit weird, really. Normally, professional people like you have like business cards or something like. Here's your, here's my card. But your phone number? Oh, whatever. Okay, Route 29. Um, I think this route has four Pokemon. It has a Pidgey, it has Rattata, uh, Sentrit, and Hootoot. But you only encounter Hootoot at night. Um, so yeah, it, it's like the first game, really. Uh, Pokemon Red had Rattatas and Pidgeys, but this has Sentrits and Hootoots, two new Pokemon. Ooh, what could this be? It's a Hootoot, yay! Which means it's night time. We'll have to fight it, unfortunately. Um... We use Tackle. Tackle and Leer. You know, I can't wait until a little later on when I can buy some Repels. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I ever use in my Pokemon Let's Plays and Walkthroughs. I just use many Repels and just skip a ton of battles. Oh, a critical hit. That's always nice. It's quite an easy first battle. So yeah, if I was, if I was to catch anything here, I might... Oh, god damn it. I would might be inclined to maybe catch uh, Hootoot. Pidgey can go F himself. I I'll, I'll try not to swear. But, you know, Pidgey, seriously, I, I hate it so much. Because uh, Pidgeot, you know, it's not even that great, really. It it's okay, but when I used it in my Fire Red videos, he, he fainted all the time and it pissed me off. Uh, also, Sentry is, is decent if you want to teach it loads of HMs, like Cut, and I think it might, it might even be able to learn Surf or something. It's kind of like Snorlax, it's a normal Pokemon, it might be able to learn Surf. Man, this, this Hootoot's taken a ton of damage. guess it might have used a, a status effect on me to lower my attack when I wasn't really concentrating. 
But yeah, there's nothing really that special here, and Rattata, as we all know, is a piece of trash, and I will never catch a Rattata. I caught it on my last walkthrough, but that's only because I was doing that little game where you guys uh, voted what team I should use. Ah, oh, no, so close! What is it? No, it's another Hootoot. That's three Hootoots in a row. This one's level four, it's a bit tougher. Probably gonna take some damage from this one, if it didn't keep using Foresight. The Wild Hootoot identifies Cyndaquil. I, d I don't even really know what that means. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I'll, I'll do a bit of research after, but I don't think Foresight really does much, except I got critical hit, which is never good. Actually, I think Foresight might uh, increase accuracy or means you don't miss your next attack. I think. Don't don't quote me on that. Alright, is this it? Have I won? No, almost. I don't think I have any Pokeballs yet though, so I can't even catch it. I missed? Oh god damn it, Cyndaquil. I swore uh, Tackle had 100% accuracy. There we go. Should uh, level up to level 6 now, and I think he learns uh, an attack straight away. It's a cool thing about Cyndaquil. It's really fast at learning stuff. Learn smoke screen, yay! Oh wow, I've still got like an extra quarter of experience right there. Okay, up there is nothing really important right now. We're just going to continue going east, and there's loads of grass, which is really annoying. Uh, I'll get the running shoes soon, which is nice to say. Uh, oh, that's a tree with some berries on. I don't really care about that right now. Berries, berries are okay, but I don't really care yet. And here we go, creepy old man number two. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. I can teach you a few things. Doesn't even give me the option, he just forces me to listen to him. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible. Yes, this guy gives me the running shoes in a minute, which is very important. And, um, you know, if I didn't have the running shoes, I probably would tear all my hair out. But yeah, that's the Pokemart. We just went past the Poker Center. The Pokemart is the place where I buy all my repels, which is the most amazing thing in the world. Uh, Route 30, we'll go down there soon to meet Mr. Pokemon. This is a beach, and that's the ocean. This is the sea, as you can see. Oh, I like that. Was that a pun? That was quite funny. Cyndaquil's still stalking me. Here's my house. For your efforts, keep up with me, I'll give you the running shoes. But you must come in my house first, all alone. Just me and you, creepy old man. Touch the sprint button on the touchscreen to sprint. It also says hold the B button to sprint. I don't know what the B button is on my keyboard, so I'll have to just actually manually click it with my mouse. I'll click it now, actually. Here we go. Clicks the running shoes. And now I'm running. Yay. Oh, look. He's back. I forgot about one thing. This, this is another token from me. Take it. Loaded the map on Yummy's Poker Gear. It's a town map. And then it's a town map icon. You'll see the map of the region you're currently in. As you had cards. I wish you luck. Actually, one thing I'm going to have to do real quick is I'll have to go to the Pokemon Center and heal up my Cyndaquil a bit. He, he took a bit of damage from the Hutus and I don't want him fainting or anything. The good thing is with the running shoes is they don't just turn themselves off or whatever. Oh, that was a pretty cool animation. Uh, the running shoes, uh, they kind of go on for a while, so it's good. I don't have to keep clicking it and unclicking it when I don't want to. It's like the bike, really. You just, you just put the bike on. Sometimes, you know, the bike would disappear if you went in buildings and stuff, but the running shoes just keep going. Alright, here's Route 30. This has both Pidgey and Hootoot, but I think I think it has a, a Cappy and a Metapod as well. Uh, if, I, if I really wanted to get a Butterfree, then I'd catch those, but I don't really care, to be honest. Oh look, it's Hootoot again. Is this all I'm going to encounter? I guess it's because it's night time, all I'm going to encounter is Hootoots. How irritating. We'll, we'll kick its ass anyway. Okay, it's gonna be a really fun match. Oh, <laughs> not. I oh, it's using Growl. Oh, it's gonna take me two tackles. It's gonna, well, it's gonna take me two tackles anyway, unless it goes for another Growl, maybe I'll take an additional one. Oh, oh, it might take three tackles, the bastard. The... 
Is, is it dead? Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it, I never thought Growl would be a nuisance to me. But yeah, Cyndaquil, he's so sick, he evolves at level 14, so only 8 levels to go. The thing is, though, with like, uh, Totodile evolves at 18, so that's ages, and Chikorita's like, you know, 16, and then Meganium at level 32. It's, it's got the same leveling as Venusaur. Oh my god. Ah, oh, yes, I, I just remembered. I'm gonna run away from this, because I'm getting pissed off. If you run through the grass, it increases your chances of encountering wild Pokemon. If you walk, it lowers it. So, uh, let me just start walking again. <laughs> there we go. Lowers the chances. And we found a potion. Uh, it's always nice to have some potions, I guess. Let's avoid the grass. Is that a trainer? Oh, you're wearing the running shoes. They make you feel like you are flying, don't they? Beware of wild Pokemon. When you run, the noise will attract them. See, that, like that guy said. And this is Mr. Pokemon's house, I believe. If it isn't, I'll be surprised. People usually come to my house looking for Mr. Pokemon's house. You did mean to visit my house, right? Oh, uh, is, is this not Mr. Pokemon's house? Because if it isn't, I am a fail. They are quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be. I obtained an apricorn box. You can carry so many apricorns, you'll be a decent... This is not Mr. Pokemon's house then. Let me read the sign because I am I am stupid. Uh okay. Well we'll we'll skip that house and we'll go further on ahead. Uh we'll we'll slowly creep through the grass. Maybe I'll get lucky. Oh wow! Epic! I didn't encounter anything. I found an antidote. Well, I guess I'll be fighting bug trainers with their bee jewels and their weedles and stuff eventually. What's this sign say? Mr. Pokemon's house straight ahead on the left side. It looks, it looks like they're having a little bit of a battle. I'll leave them to it. Good news. Um, oh man, I'm taking some elaborate detour or something, aren't I? God damn it. Another Hootooch, yeah? Oh, surprising. Not. Could at least give me two different Pokemon to fight against rather than Hootoots all the time. I'm just going to run away. Okay, come on. I can make it. Yes! Now this has to be Mr. Pokemon's house. Yeah, I believe it is. Is that Professor Oak? You must be Yami. It was I who sent an email to Professor Alm. Oh, what's he got? It's an egg. This is what I want Professor Alm to examine. The mystery egg. Yes. A friend of mine from Ecratique gave it to me. I bet you can't find these kind of egg in Johto. I thought that Professor Al might be able to tell me what it is. He's the best when it comes to research a Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak who's actually in the same room as us. Hey, Pokemon should have some rest. Thank you very much. That was a slow walk. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're yummy, I was just visiting. Uh -huh, that's right. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? I guess it, well, it's a Cyndaquil. Of course. You seem to be dependable, but would you like me? Would you like to help me out? This is the latest version of the Pokedex. It records data. Yes. He does this with everyone. Just gives them Pokedexes. It's a speciality. Probably made millions from it. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. <laughs> He's a celebrity radio show. Oh, thank you. I've got his. Have I got his phone number or something? It's a bit weird. All right. Well, that's that. Uh, let me talk to my Cyndaquil. Oh, it's happy. Cyndaquil seems to want to return to the lab. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Pokemon. Was it? You have a nice mustache. Oh dear. What's this? Hello, Yami. It's a disaster. It's just terrible. What should I do? Oh no. Is the lab on fire? Oh no, 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 I don't want to call him, I'll quit. Okay, so I, I sure wonder what the problem is. Alright guys, well that's the end of part one. In the next part, we will go back to the beginning and see what the problem is. I think I might might fight my rival for the first time too. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you think you know what the mystery Pokemon is, leave a comment and I'll tell you what it is in the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all very soon.